Cutting. Learn to cut safely, quickly, and economically. When using a new diamond chain, you can increase the cutting speed by opening up the diamonds. Make a few cuts in an abrasive material such as a cinder block. Opening the diamonds will increase the cutting speed. The diamond chain should be tight, but easily pulled around the guide bar by hand. Ensure all safety devices are properly mounted and functional and that all controls are in proper working order. Be sure there are no obstructions, plumbing, electrical conduit, air ducts. Always wear protective clothing including hard hat, eye protection, hearing protection, non-slip safety boots, gloves, and avoid wearing loose fitting clothing. Assure adequate water supply and pressure. Minimum flow is 1 gallon per minute or 4 liters a minute. Minimum pressure is 20 psi or 1.5 bar. Outline the cut with a permanent marker for a visual cutting guide. Avoid pinching the guide bar and diamond chain. Always cut the bottom of the opening first, then the top, then the sides. Save the easiest cut for last. Score the entire cut line approximately 1.5 inches deep using the nose of the guide bar. This marks the cut for straighter cutting. Plunge cut instead of starting on top of a wall. Plunge cutting generally results in a straighter start. If the cut doesn't start straight, it will not finish straight. Also, plunging is the fastest and easiest mode of cutting. Be sure cut concrete cannot fall and injure operator or bystanders. Concrete is very heavy. One cubic foot weighs 150 pounds. To start a cut, hold trigger on full throttle and slowly plunge the nose of the guide bar straight into the wall. Carefully align the nose of the bar with the cut line. Slowly touch the wall with the chain and plunge straight into the wall. Always operate the saw full throttle. Apply enough feed force so that the free running RPMs drop 20 to 30 percent. If too much force is applied, the saw will lug or stall. The diamond chain will not have enough speed to cut effectively. If too little feed force is applied, the diamonds will skid and glaze over. Listen for the sweet spot and maintain that RPM throughout the cut. When cutting rebar, slowly rock the saw so that you're always cutting concrete as well as the steel. This will help keep the diamonds exposed. Also, expect less diamond chain life when cutting rebar. Use the wall walker to help cut more efficiently and reduce operator fatigue. The wall walker is a fulcrum that converts inward force to downward force and will develop a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage. To use correctly, plunge into the wall and simply engage the point of the wall walker into the cut and push straight in. The wall walker will force the saw to feed down. Apply upward force on the trigger handle to keep the wall walker engaged properly. Otherwise, the wall walker pick will skid, which will reduce the effectiveness. As the saw begins to rotate up, feed force is developed down the line of the intended cut. Once the saw is fully rotated upwards, pull the saw out of the cut a few inches and re-engage the wall walker to the wall and repeat. Expect more diamond chain stretch and guide bar wear when making nose buried cuts for extended periods of time, as the diamond chain does not have a chance to throw the slurry away from the nose of the bar. If the saw begins to cut consistently crooked, turn the guide bar over and use the other side. Dress worn rails with a belt sander. The normal life of a guide bar is two to three diamond chains. Rebar can shorten the guide bar life. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about ICS. If you have further questions or require additional information, please visit our website at icsbestway.com.